Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, let us understand what balance sheet ratio that is debt equity ratio. Meaning of debt equity ratio, how it is calculated, formula, what are the components of formula, what is the significance of this ratio, what this ratio indicates that we will try to understand. Meaning, this ratio compares the long-term debts with shareholders fund. It is usually expressed as pure ratio. Formula, this ratio is calculated in two ways, debt divided by equity, that is borrowed funds divided by proprietors fund. This is one kind of calculation another kind is borrowed fund divided by borrowed fund plus proprietors fund but the more accepted formula is this borrowed fund divided by proprietors fund both ways are acceptable we can interpret our answer accordingly components borrowed funds it includes debentures, loans, interest accrued and due on such borrowed funds. Here borrowed fund means long term loans, long term liabilities of the business which we are not going to pay within a period of one year. Proprietor fund include equity share capital, preference share capital plus reserves and surplus minus fictitious assets profit and loss debit balance miscellaneous expenditure not return off these items are deducted from shareholders fund so that we can calculate the amount of shareholders or shareholders fund or proprietors fund purpose and function debt equity ratio is a solvency ratio which indicates the proportion of debt and equity in financing the assets of the concern. Debt equity ratio shows that margin of safety for long term creditors and balance between debt and equity that is capitalization. Actual ratio, actual ratio and its interpretation comments. Actual debt equity ratio say suppose x is to 1. It indicates that for every rupees x obtained by way of debt the company has obtained rupees 1 from shareholders. For example, a debt, of, debt equity ratio of 2.5 is to 1 indicates that for every rupees 2.5 obtained by way of debt, the company has obtained rupees 1 from the shareholders. Actual ratio close to standard 2 is to 1. If the actual debt equity ratio is close to 2 is to 1 regarded as standard, it indicates a good safety margin for long term creditors, a proper balance between own funds and borrowed funds. Actual ratio higher than the standard, if actual debt equity ratio is much higher than 2 is to 1, it indicates an unsatisfactory safety margin for long term creditors, less dependence on own funds. Benefit of trading on equity during boom that is higher return to equity shareholders. Large burden of fixed interest payment and difficulty of raising additional loans. Actual ratio lower than the standard. If the actual debt equity ratio is much less than 2 is to 1, it indicates a very satisfactory safety margin for long term creditors. More dependence on equity. Benefit of trading on equity during recession, smaller burden of fixed interest payment, ease of raising additional loans. Interaction with the capital gearing ratio. This ratio differs from capital gearing ratio in one aspect that is preference share capital is considered as part of equity that is part of proprietor's fund. 
in debt equity ratio whereas in case of capital gearing ratio preference share capital is added with long term funds added with borrowed funds from the following information we are required to calculate debt equity ratio of a limited 5% debenture 6 lakhs 8% preference share capital 3 lakhs equity capital 5 lakhs borrowed fund the 6 lakhs and proprietors fund 8 lakhs So here debt equity ratio we are getting 0.75 is to 1. In this video you have understood the concept of debt equity ratio, standard debt equity ratio, its relation with capital gearing ratio. Thanks for watching this video. Stay in tune with Ikeda and subscribe to our channel Ikeda. Thank you.